This is Ernie. Hiya! He's a Queensland fruit fly, and he's here to wreck your garden. Ernie, the Queensland fruit fly. He's coming down south with a big surprise. He's a hungry little chugger, she's a fruit hugger, and you're gonna want them to die in just no time. Them babies grown, they're ready to breed, and they're ready to roam. He's a tiny little guy with big brown eyes and a chip on his yellow shoulder. Let's get in the boot now, set the traps, and bring them in. Cause he's a hungry little chugger, she's a fruit hugger, and we all gotta do him in. What's Ernie up to today? I think Ernie's looking for some female company. Yeah! He wants to find a ladyfly to settle down with and start a family. Then they'll find some fruit in your garden and lay their maggots in it. And once they've done that, you can kiss goodbye to all your hard work in the garden or on the farm. So if you want to stop Ernie from destroying your beautiful fruits, then you're going to need to take action. Using some simple techniques, you can find out if you have a fruit fly problem. And with a combination of the right amount of pruning, traps, good garden hygiene, exclusion with netting and using best practice in your garden, you can lessen the impact of this pest in our region and enjoy more of the fruits of your labour. Exclusion with netting, bags or sleeves placed over fruit is a cheap and effective way of stopping female fruit flies from settling on fruit and infesting it with their eggs. There's lots of commercially available netting or you can make your own. Nets are made from very fine insect proof material and it is easy to put over trees that have been pruned to a manageable size. And if you have frames constructed over your trees and veggies, it's even easier. Trees should be netted as soon as the fruit starts growing. Nets can be held down by bricks or securely tied around the tree's trunk. If you are using nets, make sure that the fruit isn't touching the net as the sneaky fly might still get to your fruit or bags and sleeves can be placed over single fruit. Remember, whatever technique you use, regularly check for damage and adjust accordingly and always remove and dispose of unwanted or excess fruit. For more information on how to manage Queensland fruit fly numbers in your garden, go to preventfruitfly.com.au or ask for advice at your local garden centre. And together, we can help prevent the spread of Queensland fruit fly across our region. Look, here comes Ernie now. He spotted some fruit and he's heading straight for it. Oh, but look out, Ernie. Some clever gardener has netted their trees. Ha! Take that! You're not getting through this time, are you? Well, at least his days of spoiling fruit and ruining the hard work of local fruit growers and gardeners is over for now. If you want more information on how to manage Queensland fruit fly numbers in your garden, there's loads of helpful advice at the Agriculture Victoria site. 